Hi students, we are learning properties of triangles. In previous lectures, we learned about the sine rule, cosine rule, tangent rules, and half angle formulas. And another important concept from the properties of triangles is finding the area of triangle. Finding the area of a triangle. Let the given triangle is a, B, C is a triangle and its area is denoted with delta. Delta is represents the area of a given triangle which is equals to 1 by 2 times of B, C sin A or equals to 1 by 2 times of C, A sin B or equals to 1 by 2 times of A, B sin C. And the area of a triangle is also equals to square root of s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c, where these small a, small b, and small c are lengths of the sides of a given triangle, and s is the semi perimeter of the triangle, where s equals to we know that a plus b plus c four by two okay now let me consider how to find out the proof of this one first of all consider a triangle a b c now which is a triangle and i am considering the vertices as a b c and from the vertex a okay from the point a draw a perpendicular line draw a perpendicular line to the side bc okay draw a perpendicular line to a side bc now let this point is d now this ad is the height of this triangle ad is the height of the triangle okay so now ad is the height of the triangle and BC is the side of a triangle and we already represented with the opposite to the angle A is a side BC which is represented with small a and the opposite to the angle B the side is small b and opposite to the angle C the side is small c. These are the notations we already discussed. Now we know that the area of a triangle is delta which is equals to half into base into height and here the base is bc bc is the base half into the base we are considering here it is as bc and height is ad then how to find out the height now consider the triangle a b d in this triangle then we can write the sine b we can write over here the sine b as opposite is nothing but a d by hypotenuse is a b and from this one we can write a d is equals to height is equals to a b into sine b where this AB, the length of the side AB is nothing but small c into sin B. Now we can replace the things over here half into and BC is nothing but the side length is A and AD is we can write this is as C into sin B. So now we can say that the area of of a triangle ABC is half AC sine B of AC sine B and similarly we can prove that now draw a perpendicular from vertex B to side AC and draw a perpendicular from C to opposite side AB then we can prove by considering this the area of a triangle is equals to half BC sin A 
similarly we can prove as of a b sin c so now we can say that if one angle and two sides are given of a triangle we have to use the formulas for to find the area of a triangle as half bc sin a half ab sin c now we can derive few more results for the area of a triangle so we have area of a triangle we can write from the above result as what it is half let i am considering ab sin c which is the area of a triangle and we know that the sin rule so from the sin rule we can write small a is 2r sin a small b is 2r sin b now if we substitute the values of small a and small b in the area of a triangle we can write this is as small a is 2r sin a small b is 2r sin b into sin c so from this one we can write another result for area of a triangle is equals to 2r square sin a sin b sin c which is the another result to find out the area of a triangle if the circumradius and the three angles are given if the circumradius and three angles are given we have the area of a triangle can be find at 2 r square sin a sin b sin c so now we have another results over here and i am considering the same results delta is equals to delta is equals to half a b sin c from the previous lecture of half angle formulas we can write sin c is equals to 2 sin c by 2 into cos c by 2 2 sin c by 2 into cos c by 2 and by substituting over here in previous lecture we derived this as 2 by a b into s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c here the square root 2 by a b into square root of s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c okay from the half angle formulas how we derive this we know that from the half angle formulas we can write sin c by 2 as square root of angle c means others s minus a into s minus b by a b which is sin c by 2 and we can write cos c by 2 as s into s minus c by a b s into s minus c by a b so by substituting over here finally we can write the sin c as 2 by a b into square root of s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c now substitute this in area of a triangle we can write 2 times of a b into we can write sin c as 2 by a b into square root of s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c so from this one finally we have the result for area of a triangle in terms of the sides and lengths of the sides and the perimeter of the given triangle so we have the results area of a triangle is equals to square root of s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c now we have another results by using the same formula where we have delta is equals to delta is equals to of a b sin c from this one we can write it as half a b from the cosine rule cosine rule we can write this is as small c is equals to small c is equals to 2 r sin c from this one we can write sin c is equal equals to c by 2 r now replace over here sin c with small c by 2 r where here we can write this is as a b c by 4 r delta area of a triangle 
in terms of the lens and the perimeter is ABC by 4R. So now we have different relations to find out the area of a triangle. The first one is area of a triangle is equals to half BC sin A or half CA sin B or half AB sin C. And we have in terms of the perimeter and its sides as S into S minus A into S minus B into S minus C square root of S into S minus A into S minus B into S minus C. So this is another formula. And we have another formula in terms of the angles and the circumradius is given 2 R square into sin A into sin B into sin C. If only the sides are given and the circumradius is given, we have the formula over here as ABC by 4 or ABC by 4 or these all are the relations in terms of the area of a triangle. So now we can derive few results for these half angle formulas in terms of the area of a triangle. Consider tan A by 2. So tan A by 2 we know that square root of S minus B into S minus C by S into S minus A which is tan A by 2. Now multiply and divide this with square root of S minus B into S minus C. Okay, now we are multiplying dividing with S minus B into S minus C. Then we will get the result as S minus B into S minus C whole square, but we have the square root, then it will be cancelled out. We will get S minus B into S minus C by S into S minus A into S minus B into S minus C. And we have over here square over here square root over here. Finally, we can write this is as tan A by 2 the half angle formula as S minus B into S minus C by square root of S into S minus A into S minus B into S minus C can be replaced by the area of a triangle delta which is another important formula or half angle formulas in terms of delta. Now similarly we can write as tan B by 2. We can write tan B by 2. So then we can write tan B by 2 as S minus C into S minus A by delta and tan C by 2. Tan C by 2 as S minus A into S minus B by delta. S minus A into S minus B by delta. And from this one, we can write the reciprocal of tan A by 2 is cot A by 2, which is nothing but delta by S minus B into S minus C, which is cot A by 2. Okay. And uh, we can write cot B by 2 as what we can write is as it is as delta by S minus C into S minus A. And finally, we can write cot C by 2. Cot C by 2 is delta by S minus A into S minus B. Now, these are the results of half angle formulas in terms of area of a triangle. Now, we can derive a few more results from the half angle formula tan A by 2. We have tan A by 2 as square root of S minus B into S minus C by S into S minus A. Now multiply this with S into S minus A as well as divide with S into S minus A square root of S into S minus A. Multiply and divide by square root of S into S minus A. And we can write this is as the numerator as square root of S into S minus A into S minus B into S minus C by we can write over here square root of S square into S minus A square. And finally we can write this is as tan A by 2 i's tan A by 2 i's 
we can write whereas square root of s into s minus a into s minus b s minus c can be written as area of a triangle by s into s minus a and similarly we can write tan b by 2 is what we can write delta by area of a triangle by s into s minus b and finally we can write tan c by 2 is delta by s into s minus c from this one we can write as cot a by 2 cot a by 2 can be written as s into s minus a by delta cot b by 2 is s into s minus b by delta area of a triangle and cot c by 2 is s into s minus c by delta so in this lecture we learned the area of a triangle in different notations if the two sides are given and one angle is given we have to use half bc sin a and if the angles are given and the circumradius is given 2r square sin a sin b sin c and if the sides are given and its perimeter is given then we can write it is as s into square root of s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c and if the sides are given and the circumradius is given we can write a b c by 4 r uh, from this we have derived the half angle formulas as tan a by 2 okay we can write it as tan a by 2 as delta by s into s minus a tan b by 2 as delta by s into s minus b tan c by 2 as delta by s into s minus c i hope that this lecture will help you to find out the area of a triangle from the given parameters thank you in the next lecture we will come with another concept